There have been many important developments taking place here in Sri Lanka, although uh, we're into the night of the 8th of July. Uh, to keep you updated a little bit on these uh, developments, uh, starting off, uh, the developments were triggered after uh, the police imposed police curfew in certain divisions in the western province. Now, according to a release issued by the Sri Lanka police under the signature of the Inspector General of Police, police curfew has been imposed in the Nigambo Division, the Kalania Division, the Nugegura Division, the Mount Lavinia Police Division, the Colombo North Police Division, the Colombo South Police Division, and Colombo Central Police Division. Now, according to the release of the police, uh, it states that uh, people are requested, or people under the police curfew, people are required to stay indoors, and anybody violating this police curfew will be dealt with under the law. Uh, the police uh, release states that the law will be strictly imposed uh, against anyone who violates police curfew. Now, meanwhile, Sri Lanka's Defence Secretary, retired General, General Kamal Gunaratna, in a video statement this evening, said that information has come to light that certain elements are attempting to incite violence under the guise of peaceful protests. The Defence Secretary urged all responsible citizens to act with patience during these trying times and refrain from engaging in any unlawful acts. Further, the Defence Secretary said that the Sri Lanka police and the three armed forces have been empowered to take action against anyone who engages in any form of violence. The Defence Secretary requested the public to render their support to the security forces who are always committed to protect the motherland and the people. Now, on the other hand, the Bar Association of Sri Lanka, which is uh, the collective of legal professionals in Sri Lanka, has expressed strong protest at the imposition of a purported police curfew within the Western Province by the Inspector General of Police. Now, the Bar Association states that the police ordinance does not have any provisions for the imposition of such a curfew, and the Bar Association wishes to ask the Inspector General of Police under what authority he has declared such a curfew. The Bar Association said that the declaration of curfew is clearly intended to stifle the freedom of expression and dissent and is totally unacceptable and undemocratic and will gravely harm Sri Lanka's economy and political stability. The BASL said that the failure to withdraw the purported curfew order will have severe consequences for the country. Speaking on the same matter, TNA Parliamentarian President's Council M.A. Sumantiran claimed that curfew or police curfew that has been imposed is not recognized in any way under the law of Sri Lanka. Another news item that came out during the night of the 8th of July, that is today, is a purported letter that was circulating on social media said to be sent by the TRCSL to telecommunication service providers in Sri Lanka. The chairman of the Telecommunication Services Regulatory Commission of Sri Lanka, Jayantha De Silva, uh, when contacted by News First regarding this purported letter, said that it is fake and that such a letter had not been sent to any telecommunication service providers in Sri Lanka. Now, in the letter, uh, the letter claims to uh, or the TRCSL requesting these telecommunication service providers to limit communications in Colombo to voice calls only. Uh, however, the chairman of the TRCSL, uh, when contacted by News First, said that no such letter was sent and that this news item is fake. Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa, uh, responding to this, uh, says that the government should not try to curtail the people's right of expression by attempting to curb digital or mobile communication. He made the statement issue the media release shortly after this incident occurred. Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa says that peaceful people's protest against the government is an expression of democracy. The statement issued by the opposition leader reads, quote, under no circumstance should the government use any unlawful means of controlling or barring the people's freedom of expression, including by causing any unlawful interruptions to telecommunication and data that is used by the public for free speech. The opposition leader went on to note that those in power should never impede the people's rights guaranteed under the constitution of Sri Lanka. These matters are unfolding quite fast. Uh, stay tuned to News First as we will continue to keep you abreast of the latest of information, be it day or night.